I remember uh, almost 20 years ago, we were giving an award to a vice president from a very, very large company uh, who just did significant work in the remanufacturing area. And, and the award basically looked into the, 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 the waste that was diverted uh, from going to landfill. Uh, we're looking into the energy conservation that the remanufacturing operation resulted in. And, and we're also looking at emission and many other environmental factors that we calculated and we were providing this company with this award for that significant work they did uh, by lowering their footprint through remanufacturing. And the vice president actually who accepted the award, uh, you know, when he uh, stood up there to, to, to say a few words, he said, I'm embarrassed. He said, uh, you know, it's wonderful that we actually did all of this. Uh, he said, but we honestly did it for the money. <laughs> It was economically uh, a great value for the company. It provided our customer with great value. We were able to provide our customer with product that lower costs and satisfy their demand with lower cost. And he said, as a, as, you know, as a business uh, person, I, we did the right thing from a business point of view, but we're happy that it is actually having all of that impact environmentally. There are companies that are new to remanufacturing and uh, the value proposition for these companies uh, is that um, it provides the significant ability for the company to have that closed loop system. When you remanufacture the product and the product comes back to you as a manufacturer of the product, you'll learn a lot more about what worked well, what didn't work well in the design of that product. Uh, many times we over design uh, systems and um, maybe you put a lot of money into something that we're, 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 uh, we can optimize it uh, that would be maybe cost less. Uh, we also learn about things that degrade faster than we thought. But if you don't really have that closed loop system, it's very difficult to learn from, you know, from the performance of the product, your old product, uh, the, to help advise uh, or guide the new design. Mm. Uh, the other factor also is that I think we're moving more and more into a challenge in terms of, of uh, our uh, material uh, consumption in the manufacturing process and the, uh, the fact that you have a way to bring this product back and recycle material that might help offset your material cost uh, in a very positive way. The, the, the third uh, parameter here is that, that by actually bringing the product back, uh, you are uh, making sure that your product is, is handled properly at the end of life. Uh, you're able to uh, ensure that this is done in a very proper way versus, you know, if you weren't involved in the remanufacturing at all. And also we see some uh, n very new ways of actually uh, from, from remanufacturing to realize significant value for the companies as, as well. So, uh, you know, many times as uh, companies required to have spare parts for product uh, for a long period of time, um, you know, for durable product, for example. Uh, when the product uh, uh, in the market, the, the percentage of the product in the market is low, uh, it's much easier and cheaper to actually use remanufacturer, uh, remanufacturer component for the service and repair than it is to make them brand new. Uh, so the economics can be far more efficient in, in, if it's done this way. Mm -hmm.